what we have here is a peaceful uniting of colonies, or right-sizing as I call it. After um, I set up some uh, mating nukes on July the 8th, and when they were successfully established, I didn't expect them to be to have enough bees to get through the winter. They were never intended to be that way. What I do is I take the overstaffed post-production colonies and add a second level to the understaffed mating nuke. Uh, I used a piece of newspaper to um, allow any foragers that were in the top part of the box there we go to um, go back to their own hive this was done in the same yard and in the top box I put about a frame, frame and a half of brood. The outer two frames are honey, and this one is a partial one of pollen. I find there is no need for pollen patties. The post-production colonies still have plenty of, plenty of pollen, and there's pollen coming in, so why spend money and why, um, mess around with substances that uh, are not necessary here in this glorious Midwest paradise of uh, abundance. So, in order to get these ready for winter, what has to happen is the, the five over fives need to weigh 75 pounds. So I've made mistakes in the past which have been feeding too early, i.e. feeding before the goldenrod flow was over. But these bees, with a, a queen established on July the 8th from resistant stock, with brood that was added to the top that I um, might washed the colony I took it from and there was zero mites. And then, um, drawn frames all that needs to happen is they need to make their winter bees and this top box needs to be completely full chock-a-block full of of honey and feed and i found that um i found that uh if i took that top box off and weighed it which i don't do by itself that if that was full of feed it would weigh about 40 pounds by itself mm -hmm. But I don't do that. Once I've started feeding, there's no further need to go into the colonies. I just lift the whole thing up and put it on a bathroom scale and weigh it to 75 pounds. So that's that's where we are. That's what I'm in the process of doing. Going through the colonies, taking the round of uh, queens that was mated, not mated, that was grafted on July the 8th, placed on July the 18th. Uh, queen right several weeks later but they don't have enough bees and supplies to get them through the winter and then right-sizing them. That's the uh, final part of the season before uh, we get the great equalizer, winter.